working in a lot of different studios, working with a lot of different people, you don't always connect mm -hmm. in, in the way that I think we connected during those sessions, which I know it sounds a little cliche, it sounds a little goofy or contrived even, but it, I really feel like we all really got synced in. And the fact that we cut that record over the course of, I believe, three days. Yeah, it was like one long day and two short days. Yeah. You know? Yeah, first day, I think we did like 12 hours straight or something like that. We, we, we went the whole, we got in like and we, just We arrived and we tracked almost everything. I think we did the, the basic track of everything. Yeah. The first night. And then the next day was reserved for overdubs. Doing and some the electric guitar, some bass. Piano. We did as much, it was, I think that was like a 10 hour day. Yeah. And then we tied up loose ends the next day. Yeah. So, you know, maybe 20 hours max. Yeah. Of, Start to finish. But he was a real trooper, just kind of was completely locked in with us. You know, I, I love when I go <laughs> to a studio and they're there to work and just just make the record and you just focus on that. And we didn't take breaks. We didn't, Yeah, we were you know, on and it. the whole time he was sick as a dog. I was just going to say that. He was sweating. He was shivering. We had to go get him cold medicine and stuff. And that was one of the breaks we did take was to go to the pharmacy. <laughs> That's true. I was going... Is this ethical? This guy, I mean, he was, he was, he was very sick. Yeah. And he put it aside. He was committed. He was and so I think, committed. I think it was like his 10th day straight or something. He had been recording. Yeah. He'd been in that Doing studio other bands, other for projects. a long time at that point without breaks. But, you know, he <sighs> never stopped giving it a hundred percent, I would yeah, say. Which was, I mean, inspiring and impressive. And also I'm just eternally grateful that even in a time of, you know, <laughs> physical <laughs> agony. Yeah. He And it didn't dull him. You know what no. I'm trying to say? What I was going to say about the previous thing is he had a really uh, great creative input yeah. on various things. He wasn't afraid to say, let's try this, let's try that. Because, you know, that's why we were there. We wanted his touch mm -hmm. and his instinct. And, you know, for example maybe one song on our song Sunset Riser for the solo he suggested you know he had a, a lot of cool old guitars and yeah. one, the one I was using the solo on that song was actually like a broken pickup or some weird wiring oh yeah and we ended up using this quirky you know one of a kind thing like you flip to one one setting and it sounded pretty normal, another setting sounded pretty normal, but in between there's this one where it's like shorting out or something. Mm -hmm. And he's like, try that sound. And we put it through a pedal into this amp and that's what we ended up using for the solo on this song. And I don't think there's an easy way to ever replicate that the same way. And it sounds awesome. <laughs> 